Putin steps up his hybrid war against Europe, threat of Russia's shadow war increases. Russian ruler Vladimir Putin is stepping up his hybrid war, in particular against Europe, writes international relations expert Samuel Ramani in an article for The Telegraph. He recalls that the day before, the US and Germany foiled a Russian plot to assassinate Rheinmetall CEO Armin Papega. Russia accused him of exporting large quantities of 155mm artillery shells to Ukraine. This happened a few hours after an armed illegal immigrant in Belarus brutally murdered Polish sergeant Mateusz Sitek. These actions fit well into the Russian playbook. Russian intelligence services hire saboteurs to set fire to military supply depots for Ukraine and install surveillance cameras in key logistics hubs. Russia uses GPS jamming to disrupt the flight paths of civilian aircraft in the Baltic, Black and Mediterranean seas. Through its patron Alexander Lukashenko, Russia stimulates illegal migration flows from Belarus to Poland and the Baltic states. Russia's plot to kill Paperga is part of a broader campaign to intimidate arms suppliers to Ukraine. The author notes, in his opinion, Russia's shadow war against Europe has escalated over the past six months due to the influx of Western weapons into Ukraine and the strengthening of sanctions against Russia. Ukraine's use of NATO weapons to strike Russian targets and the EU's transfer of proceeds from the frozen assets of the Russian central bank to Ukraine are fueling the Kremlin's thirst for revenge. Russia is waging its shadow war with impunity and without proper deterrence, its behavior will only get worse. A little toughness, common sense and preventive action could make Russia think twice about escalating its own shadow war, the expert concludes. Although Western policy towards Putin's Russia has toughened considerably since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, it has responded with half measures to the threat of Russia's shadow war. Russia's neighbors have been forced to act alone and shoulder most of the burdens of these hybrid threats. Lithuania completed a border fence in August 2022. Poland started recruiting a border wall with Belarus in January 2022. It is now in the process of installing electronic surveillance systems, cameras, lighting and automated alarm systems across the wall's perimeter. Пробчики. Пробчики. 